Today we got this 2010 Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD Sport. Has some transmission issues. It's got a A750E. This is a two-wheel drive. The 750F is the four-wheel drive. And so we're going to see what's going on. We have first and second gear is a really hard shift. What we're gonna do is get into this transmission and check the solenoids. I'm gonna show you what to check that could be possible problems. Here's a transmission pan on the A750E transmission and I'm gonna drop it off. All you gotta do is remove the outer screws. I drain this. The fluid in it is pretty dirty. It was black, which is a bad sign. Uh, it hasn't been changed. So let's go, out, go ahead, look in the pan, get that drop down. All right, we got the pan pulled out of this and you can see how dark this is and that's shiny look to it isn't good. Um, we're gonna look, there's some magnets in, in the pans and you wanna pull these out and look, they're down in here. There should be three or four and you can see there's a lot of really fine silt. A little bit is okay a lot like this is questionable, but this maybe hasn't been changed for a long time. Now we look up at the transmission here. Here's the valve body, the filter right there with the little spout coming out of the bottom as a pickup. And then we have the solenoids. There's a bunch of different solenoids. Those help to get pressure for transmission uh, to change the gears and whatnot and shift. We're going to be checking two of these, the SL2 and the SLT, to see if they work. They possibly may have uh, gone bad, or one of them. So there's four little bolts that hold in the filter pan. Once the filter pan bolts are out of each corner, one here, one there, and two on each side, then you're just going to slowly work it. and fluid's going to come out. You can see how dirty that is. Now there's a little gasket on this. You want to make sure that is not stuck up in there because if you put the new filter on and that gets stuck up in there that's not good. And then also when you wipe this you want to get this nice and clean. All this mud around here you do not want to drop into the valve body or into the pan when you get it out. So make sure everything is clean. Don't use cloths that uh, will leave a whole bunch of lint and dirt up into here get stuck because that'll clog the transmission. There's a whole bunch of small holes up in these transmissions that uh, the fluid flows through and if you clog them up there's going to be problems. Now what we're going to do is check two solenoids and I have this little chart I did. It uh, gives you kind of a view and this is a We'll switch it over so you can read it. A uh, A750E. I thought it was on this paper, but it's not. So the S2 solenoid right there is the one we're going to check first. You want to get this situated so there's the filter hole that goes right there. And so if we're going to do the S2 solenoid and pull it out, then we're going to do the SLT solenoid. And so we're going to look at it here filter holes right here and we're gonna take this solenoid out you want to unclip this nice and gently and not wreck any wiring and then there's this little holder clip that holds that in and we're gonna slide that out so I'm gonna get that unhooked and uh, show you how that pulls out all right so when you loosen this up it has this little holder which is actually around this way you can see these little holes right here. These little pins go up in that hole, one there and one there, that hold the solenoid in. You can see how that's loose now. If you're doing this upside down without the valve body out, when you undo this, make sure these don't fall into your oil bucket or you lose them on the floor because they have to go back in to hold these solenoids in. The solenoid just slides right out. 
and get the oil pan is sitting here um, I'm gonna unhook this you got to get a little uh, small pair of uh, uh, a needle hook just to press in here to pull this back to get it off before I pull this out all right here's the solenoid out um, so these clips you got to be really careful with the wire clip end pushes in here I couldn't oops sorry pushes in here and I couldn't do it uh, on video because I couldn't hold it and do the camera and do it at the same time so what you want to do is this little bridge you want to get a little push under there to lift it and hold so it gives it a space lift it up and then take this other clip here and you can push it with this as you're holding the bridge of that up and I don't know if you can see in that where it has a little hump bridge but you can't just push it down and pull it out um, these are made so they don't come on clips so it's like a safety lock and be very careful because you don't want to break this and split it in half or else it's not going to go back together if this is good now we're going to test this solenoid and see if it actually actuates if this is the problem and it doesn't actuate or it's stuck we'll have to clean it it could be clogged up or it may be completely bad and have to get a new one all right now probably wondering how to test a solenoid these are about 175 200 each for uh good ones and um you don't want to just replace it and then find out that's not the problem if these solenoids are good then we probably have clutch issues inside the transmission so what you can do is use an ohm meter you want to uh, get that set to ohms and then inside you can see the little uh, connectors one on the right one on the left you want to get a tester each one on each side and I tested this already and I got about 6.5 I have one on each connector and you want to make sure you don't bend those connectors because once you put the little connector from the car back in here and those pins don't go in properly that's not going to be good so then we check the ohms and uh, 5.6 and depending on how good of a connection you got it'll move around a little bit but uh, oh there I lost connection so it went to OL if it's OL that's not good but with a good connection it's five point six, so it was five point six to six point five. That's within I think three point five to about ten is pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're we know this is actually getting pretty good test there, and we're gonna test it with a twelve volt battery. So we have I do a little tester hook up to the negative positive. We got positive here negative over here I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and hold the camera so you'll put the and you don't want to cross these and short it out um, or you'll, uh, you'll have an issue so if we put this negative and it doesn't matter which whoops sorry doesn't matter which one is which and let's see if I have a connection no no connection on that i gotta get that there we go and so go in and touch the other one the other connector all right did you see that it actually actuated you can see that move and hear it but it's only partially moving i think this is clogged or stuck so we're going to try to clean this now don't clean it with brake fluid the brake fluid's too much it'll damage it so use like a uh, uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner or electrical cleaner all right i did uh, a little cleaning on the sol solenoid and we're going to retest it and you can watch and and just listen to it now too and the part that moves is way down here so i don't think i can see that but uh, it moves a lot better now. I cleaned it with a little uh, WD-40 in this area here. 
to get some and when I sprayed it out it had a bunch of um, dirty fluid in it transmission fluid now here's the SLT that was the SL2 the SLT is over here on the front the other side they kind of interact a little bit with the pressure inside the transmission so again those little pins that come out of the hole there they slide out it just pulls out and there's you can see where the pin sits right here not in that hole but they sit in that groove if you can see that i hope you can see that groove and that's why they kind of move a little bit they don't sit in the hole they sit in that little groove there these other grooves go into the solenoid actuator and that's for fluid to transfer through so you want to make sure you put this back in the same way that you took it out all right we got the solenoids back in check this one the slt solenoid and it wasn't too bad actually it uh tested good on the ohm meter uh same thing 5.9 and then um i just did a little clean of it it actually actuated very good S the solenoids great i tested uh these two here just with the ohm meter and they tested really good as well they're up a little higher like 10. um let's see what else so all the solenoids are good it may just be uh the transmission fluid is so dirty 